In this lesson, we'll take a look at intersections of lines in two-dimensional space and three-dimensional space. And first of all, we'll deal with two space. Uh, there's three different ways that two lines can exist together and intersect or not, share points or not, in two-dimensional space. And that's what the purpose of this page is. Case one, uh, first of all, talks about when there's no intersection points. And that's when you have parallel lines in two-dimensional space. For example, y equals x. Uh, this is the line y equals x right here. And y equals x minus 2. If you remember y equals mx plus b, they have the same slope. The slope is 1 for both of those. So they would be parallel lines. They have different y-intercepts. The y-intercept of this line is 0. The y-intercept of this line is negative 2. And as you can see, the uh, orangish line and green line are parallel. They will never cross. So parallel lines certainly have no intersection points. It could be possible that the two lines intersect in a common point. And if the two lines are not parallel in two-dimensional space, then they have to intersect somewhere. So for example, y equals x plus 5, that's the red line here, starts at 5 on the y-axis, has a slope of 1, and y equals negative a half x plus 13. Uh, starts with a y-intercept at negative thir uh, positive 13 up here, has a slope of negative a half, and so they intersect in that one point right there. So there's one common point or one intersection point for those two lines. Case number three, the two lines could have an infinite number of solutions, an infinite number of intersection points. And they're called coincident lines, which means really that they are the same line. So for example, x minus 2y minus 8 equals 0. That's the standard form. We could rearrange it in y equals mx plus b, or slope by intercept if you wanted to. That's this line right here. And this, notice that this blue equation is actually just this one multiplied by 3. And so it's just a multiple. The whole equation is a multiple. So when I graph this, it looks like this. It just writes right over top of the original line. So they are, in a sense, actually not just in a sense, they are the same line. So that's what coincident lines mean. Uh, you've taken the two equations, perhaps found a multiple of one to get a second, but they're really the same line. And so they would share all points in common. Every point that's on this line is also on this line. And so they would have an infinite number of solutions. Now, this multiple idea isn't always readily apparent, especially when you get into uh, uh, vector and parametric equations. Uh, sometimes you have to investigate a little bit before you can see that. It certainly is quite apparent if you have them in y equals mx plus b form or standard form or scalar form.